I started building this and I never thought it was going to work out very well. So I didn't, I didn't film it. But I have a solution to a problem that you might be able to use. I need a screen to keep mosquitoes and things from coming in and any kind of bugs at night when we have the hatch open. So I came up with this. It's flimsy. It had Velcro. This was our first attempt and we had put Velcro self-stick Velcro all the way around. But the Velcro failed and it got gooey and it just started to slide off after a couple weeks. So we redid this and we put magnets in it. So now along the edge it has magnets, right? Think that would be great, right? Well, no, it doesn't work because it's so flimsy. If you, if you put the magnets on one side, by the time you get it up on the other side, you need three or four hands to, to do this. So this is, this is worthless. I, I actually thought we threw it out, but then I, I found it for this video. So that's not gonna work. Well, I needed something rigid on each side. So then I came up with this. Spent a lot of time on this sewing, and I'm not very good at sewing. And inside here, there is a rigid piece of wood and there are magnets on the wood. So it slides into this sleeve and then it just snaps up against the frame right here. And then there's another piece over here. And that worked pretty good. But I, I knew it wasn't gonna last. My sewing wasn't very good and it was really difficult. And when this gets a hole in it, it would be a real chore to make again. So I wanted something that would work and allow me to replace this screen easily. So then I had an idea. And this is what I came up with. It's pretty simple. Two pieces of plastic and sandwiched in between there is the screen. So this goes up right here and it goes up right here, and that's it, I'm done. Now, I also have two pieces for this side to make sure no mosquitoes sneak in. And those I made out of wood, and they have three magnets on it. Now, these magnets, if you've been watching my videos, I've used these magnets on the build all over the place. But these simply go right up there, and right up here and it's sealed no mosquitoes are going to come in so if you're interested keep watching the video i'll show you how i made that i'll kind of reverse engineer it and let you see what i did and what materials i used because this is a simple efficient screen it's easy to put up and when you go to take it down you take these two pieces, this is not even done. You take these two pieces down, you just roll it up. Take this side down and that's it. And you just store that. Quick and easy when you need it. So let's take a look and see how it was built. Here it is. These two wood pieces I used on the sides and I'll probably paint these white, I think just to make them look good. What I did here is put these three magnets in. The magnets are one inch in diameter, so it's easy to find a bit to countersink those. And I used number six bolts so that they'll hold nice and securely. You need to make sure that the magnets are flush or protrude a little bit because just a little bit of distance will reduce the strength of the magnets. So that's easy. This is just as easy. So, and both sides are the same. What we have here is lattice trim. I'll put the number for Lowe's or Home Depot to buy this lattice trim. It's PVC, so it's flexible. But if you put two pieces together, it's rigid enough that it'll work really well. You'll notice that I took an offset the magnet to the top. I did that because my frame, the magnet, is offset 
on my hatch. As you know, if you saw the hatch installation video, I put a steel surround and then covered that with marine vinyl. That's why these magnets will stick. So you'll need some steel for the magnets to stick to for this design. So all I did here was I took two pieces of that lattice and on one of them I of course drilled my hole straight through one inch and this is going to go on top of that piece and those magnets protrude just a little bit and I sandwiched the screen in between. Now I was halfway through the build when I decided this works really well and I haven't finished doing it yet. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to finish putting this together. As you can see here, I've got two pieces of PVC plastic, which is actually lattice trim. I'll leave the uh, part number for Lowe's and Home Depot in the description. And what I did was I cut two one inch holes in the first piece of lattice trim. In the matching piece, I screwed with a number six bolt the magnet and I countersunk it here so that it would be flush because I didn't want the nut wearing out the screen because I know I'm going to roll this up. Now all I have to do is somehow keep this screen from pulling out and to do that I'm going to use this double stick duct tape. I didn't even know there was double stick duct tape. There's a link to this in the description also. So that's going to go on there like that and that means I need a piece of duct tape for the center. and a little piece for each side. I put this up and tried it out without any duct tape or screwing it down and it worked fine. And it would probably be fine just like that, except I need to keep this attached also. So it doesn't have to be super strong, but this duct tape is really pretty good. Now I'm cutting this in half because we're going to need a piece on the top and a piece on the bottom. So this piece will go right on top just like that. Remember because of my steel frame is a little bit skinnier, I offset these up to the top. So it all depends on your application. You'll have to adjust this. As you know, I sell a lot of plans on Etsy to try to help people out. And I'm not selling the plans to this because it's too custom. You know, you're gonna have to decide where you need your holes and everything for your specific application. So now I just need to unscrew this and do the double stick tape on the other side. This is it, the completed screen. Now, let's go give it a try. Simply two pieces of lattice material and some magnets. Just roll it out. It sticks up there with the magnets on that side. It sticks up here with the magnets on this side. And then you see how this overhangs right here? Well, that gets pushed up there by these two little pieces here that also hold up there with magnets. This is my best solution yet. I really like it and I really don't think I'm going to be able to make 
any improvements on it. It's easy and compact and stores without any problem. And if I'm on the road and I put a hole in the screen, it'll be really easy to replace the screen because all I have to do is keep a couple pieces of screen this size. And even if I didn't, I could easily stop at Home Depot or Lowe's and buy a roll. So hopefully this idea has helped some of you folks out. If it has, please like and share this video with your friends. If you have any questions, just put a comment below. I'm real good about responding to comments as quickly as I can. And thank you for watching.